let's be very nice people and give them some money to fund some new buildings. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's our um, bigger station complete. So the train will travel up here. This station is more than adequate. There's only one train in it at the moment and it's six platform. What are you gonna do? This section seems okay. That section should be fine. It's an area I keep. I need to keep an eye on, but I tend to find the um, services east. So this kind of area of the map doesn't really have a lot of services. It'll mainly just have like an express train that'll visit big cities and just a stopping service and that's it. I could probably deal with um, running a few more services in this area. It's kind of neglected. Let's get rid of that. And that, Jesus. It just doesn't even do anything. It just loops. So get rid of these buildings. Put that there. So at least they can build next to the railway if they really want to. Okay, now what we're going to do with this section here. Is this really worth stopping at? How many passengers? 6,000. Yes is the answer to that. Then. But two platforms won't be enough. Then again, I need the, um, the middle lines are used for express trains as we've just seen. Um, hmm, that's a tricky one. Right, I mean, one thing we could do is have um, the ex the non-stopping lines go underneath the station. Hmm, just how it'll affect it. In fact, actually, I've got a way it might look might look pretty cool. So, what we'll do is, for this section of the line through these two stations, we'll have the express service go underneath the stations, thus avoiding them avoiding them completely. Get away with your level crossings. Thank you. Now, this is where it also gets tricky because I'm going to be editing these uh, these lines and obviously services are going to be running along this as well. So, all right. So these stations, hmm, are we going to have them as terminus stations or are they just going to be like the other one before? Are they just going to be... Well, there's no way for it to really... No, we're not going to have them as terminus stations. They're going to be uh, two platforms either direction. So, all we'll really need is just that. So, that's the extent of the land it'll take. So, that and that. That's all we'll need. So, let's just mark these out. And, of course, there's a, there's a signal directly in our building path. Let's get rid of this because we don't really need it so that's where it will go now i'm going to quickly just connect that line to here just while we work on this section just so that uh, further down the line no trains are going to go well there's no track up there i'm going to go this completely different way around and we're going to do that and what i'm going to do is lower the terrain here and we can do the same on this side as well because it's already connected. Boom. We can get rid of this little offshoot here. Let's remove the road. Lower this. And there we go. So that's how we can bypass the station for express trains. Just like this. And what I will do is I will leave, actually leave this um, section open. And we'll also need to do that as well. Just so trains have access to both local and non-stopping routes, just like this here. So that train's going to go that way. Yeah, cool. Right. Now, signaling for this section is going to be a path signal there and there. Will that need to be path? Yes, it will, because there's two platforms. So that's also what we'll need. But this will not need to be that. So we'll have those as just uh, normal signals. That will need to be path, so that's correct. At the end of the station, they're just normal signals. But at the start of the stations, they will need just a single pathfinding signal. And that is the layout that we will use. So we will use this exact layout. Now what I'll do is I'll put island platforms in the middle because, well, 
there's an island between the lines anyway. And we'll keep those as, the, as they are. You'll notice that as I start building stations, I want to make a few stations look different and cool, and I'll try and experiment with a few different tiles and see what works, but overall, I'll just begin getting lazy when I've got about 10, 15 stations to build. So you'll get the same design over and over. But it is a design that looks nice and it is realistic, so I can kind of forgive myself. There we are. So we have now a four-platform station. Now what we can do is... Get rid of this again. We'll have the express services remain on a lower level and we'll have one crossing point in the middle of the two stations. I believe that's what would work best. All these level crossings. Level crossing simulator 2015. Now I've removed the level crossings. Now there's no access to this road here. So that will not expand unless I do that. Just so the council has access to all their buildings and all their land. So I'm just going to do the same for this station. I'll, I'll skip ahead just because you know what's going to happen. There we go. There's our second station complete. So it has the correct signaling, it has all the platforms set up, and it has space for us to build this express uh, non-stop service underneath it, which we will certainly do now. So let's build our tunnel. And we just have to flatten this land in the middle. I just think it'll look cool, really, having like a local service above the uh, express one. Then about halfway, so about here. In fact, what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do first is get rid of these signals and use yet another tip that was given in a previous video. In the uh, previous video, sorry. So if I um, start here and hold down control and drag that, that should have placed them, yes, every 10 spaces. Perfect. So we'll just make sure that there's reliable signaling along the line. A long gap between them. Is that definitely 10? Yeah, it is. Wow. Let's run these through. Now here is where the paths should cross. Oh dear. And what I'm going to have to do is... Uh, this I've just noticed just remove the railway that have all the trains in the area are using that's a good idea there we go so now we can just kind of cut this out and work on it and not affect everything surrounding we don't want our drivers to go and strike or anything like that in fact oh god please do not put that in the game right let's lower that and then we can have a cross over here And then we can get rid of these. If only real world building with railways was this efficient. Whoops, just hit the microphone, sorry. Right, so that in itself looks like a quite a good layout. I'm going to add signals for the express line. Boop. And there. And there we are, we've redone this section of the line to accommodate uh, through traffic for express, express trains whilst increasing capacity at the two stations that serve these quite big cities uh, along the route. We just need to link it up at the bottom, which should be easy enough. The infrastructure is already in place. All we have to do is just remove this section, lower the land, connect them back up, 
and provide a signal. Yeah, perfect. So there we are. This section of the line is now complete. So we will use the two local stations along here before going off this way to Hending Head, which must be busy. Yeah, 7,000 passengers. Wow. And then north to New Binfing Field, of which it is the Victoria Station. A smaller station, but one that is very busy, nevertheless. This city as well, I have kind of thought about building a bus network in, and that is something that I'll do soon as well. In fact, I may do it the next video, because I've just noticed I've had a... It's now been two train videos side by side. So what I'm going to do here is create a four track system just to the next station so firstly I'm going to clear the land so that's already done there and here whoops there we go so land is cleared until the next station put the basic lines down the things that we know are going to be certain wow going to be a lot of uh, redevelopment here. So here is another example of a place where I'm demolishing more buildings than I should just to um, provide the city with a more efficient way to grow out. So by demolishing that entire section and just simply working the road that way, it means that after a while the buildings will build in the best possible pattern so that more um, buildings can be built near the city centre. It means that when they start building, building skyscrapers and such, um, you can get a lot more, um, there'll be, there will be a lot more. So let's do this. Do the uh, junction afterwards. So. Just increasing my mouse sensitivity there because the uh, video recording creates an ever so slight lag not that I'm trying to be extremely gamer MLG pro in open TTD or anything by uh, having my mouse on the highest sensitivity whoops that was not good that was a big mistake sometimes I build too quickly and make mistakes I would have been perfect building the Edinburgh tram system. Come on to that later. That's a problem for future zest to resolve. Let's get these under here. And there we go. So that's the basic infrastructure. So now that I've got the main lines down, I can go through and I can finalize them so here first of all we were going to need to get rid of this add two pathway signals and a crossover how far is it to the next station N not station sorry the next signal five blocks so we'll need a signal as soon as it comes out here. Which will be a path signal because it's also a station. There we go. So that's that side of the line completed. We'll get rid of that signal for now. That will need to be a path signal. Train tunnel lights. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. So, right here is an, another example. This platform is three tiles long. Now, I want to have a three tile long waiting area before this signal, just so that anything that has to wait to enter the platform isn't waiting in front of any express trains. Uh, that's currently two tiles, not three. So we're going to have to do that. 
that design there will work best because it means that at no point does anything have to go onto this line to then change back and thus slow down. So we'll do this here. Then we've got that signal to wait. Perfect. Leaving the station, we'll need an, another path of finding a signal. And there is this station complete. Sorry for the drip cut there, guys. I just had a parcel come to the door. Um, so I am back now. The next section we shall do now. So let's get our signals out. Right. Now I think at some point towards the next station we're going to need a crossover um, where the lines can exchange and it looks like it'll have to be there. Um, I don't want it too near a corner just so it can uh, have as little impact on speed as possible. Then again if I do this what will happen is trains will just by default go down this route here so trains will come from the top there and just head down cut off whatever's on this line so I don't like doing that if possible that should be fine there so we'll do this and that lets us know where we need to get to so that's just from well actually there's no signals on the outside line so three four five so we'll start here that if I hold down control should put all of them in yes it should Whoa. That train did not know what to do. It's because for a second or so it was a going down a no entry kind of route. I wonder. If I go up to here, uh, the junction will come out this Far. Let's say we start the signals here. Where does it go? So there, there, and there. Okay. That's fine then. And there. And that one will not be a that signal. It will be a pathfinding signal. Just like so. So we can add these in. Oops, we can put the pathfinding signals here. Now, what improvements can we do? Let's put that there and have a second crossover. So there's always two opportunities to go through to uh, each platform. There we go. So, we need to do this section here. So the uh, easterly facing track. Is that really it for the signals? There doesn't seem to be many. So, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mm, it's there or thereabouts, isn't it? Okay, so we have this section of the line complete. No, we don't. Because it's this little section here. Correction. Very soon we will have this, this section of the line complete. There we go. So... We now have that line completed. What we need to do now is create the new section of line. 